Good afternoon. We're up here in uh, in um, <coughs> Indianapolis. Um, it's Sunday. We delivered a load uh, northeast of Indianapolis in a town called uh, Gas City, Indiana, I believe, at a uh, Walmart distribution center. Uh, we delivered it uh, Saturday, uh, yesterday actually, and uh, after that, I guess, went down to the truck stop. Then I got another load, which is this one. Uh, that was to pick up uh, the appointment for it uh, for for us to pick up this load was today is Sunday at 1500 I called yesterday uh, see if I could pick it up early and all that but they didn't have it ready so I came up here uh, at uh, my appointment time which is like 1500 I arrived and uh, checked in and the load wasn't ready yet so they told me that it wasn't ready so that they were gonna go ahead and start uh, prepping it because uh, they were also, I think like around 5, I don't know why they took too long, but supposedly at 5, they make a shift change, uh, but at the same time when I got here, they still haven't even started prepping my load, so I guess they uh, they got it ready, and then they came to the uh, uh, time uh, to uh, do the shift change, and uh, after they did that, they started loading me. So it is now uh, 5.43. So yeah, they pretty much started uh, loading me like about 43 minutes ago. So, but they're still working on it. I guess they're still, I can still feel uh, them, uh, whoever's loading, you know, loading the trailer and all that. The light's still red. So we're waiting for that to uh, turn green. And uh, I think they're gonna come out and get, uh, seal the trailer. Um, and then I'll head up to the uh, guard shack and get out of here but in the meantime I guess that's what we're doing I guess we're just going uh, just waiting uh, for them to finish loading us and start heading up to uh, close to uh, Chicago um, area let me see if I have the um, Oswego that's <laughs> is this the right name that I wrote down let me check it right quick Uh, according to this, I guess, uh, Oswego, Oswego, I guess, O-S-W-E-G-O, -E Illinois, uh, it's, uh, pretty much in the outskirts of, uh, Illinois, south, uh, southwest of, uh, Chicago, Illinois, so, yeah, that's pretty much where we are going, we deliver tomorrow at 1330, which is, like, 130, uh, in the afternoon tomorrow, so we'll go ahead and take it from there. Just uh, load it. We'll go ahead and uh, pull up here to the uh, shipping office, and I'll just go ahead and double check with them just to be on the safer side.
Good morning. We're up here in Remington, Indiana. We're like about two hours from our uh, delivery. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this U.S. Uh, Highway 24 here off uh, Exit uh, 201 from uh, Interstate 65. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and cut through here pretty much to head down to our field stop, which is uh, on, uh, pretty much on the other side. In, in, in uh, Illinois because right now we're still in, in Indiana so we're gonna go ahead and head down there and fuel and then from there continue on to our delivery from that point we should be after our, after our fuel will be uh, an hour from our destination so we should be good on time uh, today is Monday as well so we'll go ahead and uh, see how traffic is going to be around that area so uh, we'll go ahead and take it from there. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I <laughs> other thing that I'm doing, I'm doing a heating up water for uh, coffee. Be careful because it's extremely hot. See how it's water is kind of like boiling. And here I already have uh, coffee with uh, creamer and some sugar as well. Pour the water in here. Extremely careful because it's extremely hot. Pour some of it first, stir it. Make sure that the hot water and the creamer mix thoroughly. And then pour a little bit more. Stir it a little bit more. Pour the rest of it in there up to that point. I don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Give it a little taste. here by the uh, fuel pumps and uh, dump all my trash <laughs>
Alrighty, we're driving all the way around here to this uh, to this building or the warehouse, I guess. To our left, and then we should come up to an area here where we have to go check in at the office. Alrighty, while we wait, we'll just go ahead and check the phone, see if we've gotten any calls. Or... Alrighty, now uh, we uh, just delivered that load up at uh, the Walmart. Now we're heading up to uh, pick up uh, the next load that we're taking to uh, Kansas. here at the customer where uh, we're picking up this load I did the, uh, the, the swap already I dropped the empty trailer and I got the empty, uh, the loaded one I'm just gonna go ahead and scale here uh, quick on this uh, on the scale they have here at this uh, at this customer and see how we're how we're doing on the on the weight looks like this one looks like this place has a uh, scale that uh, provides uh, a split uh, weight on the truck and trailer so we'll see how we're doing So we're at 11, 11, 7, 60, 31, 2, and 33, 4, 76,500 pounds. So we're good. We're good right there where we at. I'm not even going to mess with the uh, with the trailer axles. I'm going to leave it just, uh, just as it is right there. So we'll go ahead and uh, take it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and trust this scale because uh, uh, it's uh, one of the scales of this uh, place that Lowe's they have a lot of uh, they move a lot of freight and all that so I'm pretty sure that they have it uh, they calibrate they calibrate their scale uh, often and the way they should so we'll go ahead and take it like this this place, <laughs> this place here wants to make sure the drivers don't get lost. They have this line here on the on the ground, uh, and they want you to follow it all the way up to where you're going to drop your empty trailer, and then uh, pretty much in the same area you'll find the uh, your loaded trailer as well. So you drop your empty trailer, and then you hook up to your uh, loaded trailer, and then you follow the blue line back out to the uh, to the to the gate. So <laughs> that's that's good, I guess. That's especially if they have a really uh, a big lot like this. Not to this point here, you could take you could get on either 
either one of the lanes. Supposedly, that's what the uh, people in the uh, guard check said. So, just take it slow, especially if there's people working out here. Good morning. We're up here in Brooklyn, Iowa. We're on our way, uh, still I guess, down to uh, the south uh, southwest of uh, Kansas, Kansas City, I guess. Uh, let me see. Pretty much uh, all of all of Kansas. O l a t h e. All of Kansas, which is pretty much uh, south southwest of uh, Kansas City, Missouri. So uh, we're going to deliver our load there, and then from there, we're, we're going to go ahead and deadhead from there to uh, Joplin. So they want us to deadhead to Joplin, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and take it from there.
we uh, did the swap right quick and now I'll just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and unhook from the uh, loaded and then hook up to my empty one and start deadheading to uh, to droplin. Then get the bills, assign the bills and all that, then we'll be we'll be pretty much good to go. Alrighty, we're done with this load. Uh, we had to do just uh, that uh, fun part, I guess, of swapping the trailers. We did that, and uh, I already sent the uh, the loads, I guess, uh, that the loads were finished and all that, so to get paid for them. So that we did that, and then uh, I guess we're pretty much done. Uh, we're on the, pretty much in the south uh, southwest uh, of uh, Kansas City, Kansas, on the Kansas side. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and deadhead to uh, Joplin. Uh, apparently they need this trailer down in Joplin again, like last uh, time that I went down to Joplin. This one, I think they're getting rid of these trailers, the 7-4. Uh, I guess because the last one that I had, I think it was a 5, I think it was a 5-2. They were doing some changes as well to those uh, to the new trailers, and they're also getting rid of those, uh, the, the, the uh, old ones as well. So... Uh, Pretty much uh, that's it, I guess. We'll go ahead and uh, end.